Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics. Today, we're going to be taking up one more problem on dynamics. So if you want to read the description, it's provided at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and read that. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that you've read the question. So let me arrange, uh, let me explain you what this arrangement is all about. So there are essentially two blocks, block A and block B. Mass is 30 kg. This is 3 kg. Both of them connected by a string which is actually passing over a pulley now this distance has been given to you why there is a specific reason now guys just try to think about this when this system is released from the state of rest what's going to happen is this this block will travel in the downward direction with an acceleration a and this block will travel in the right hand side direction again with the same acceleration a both of them are going to have the same accelerations their axis may be different this is along the y axis this is along the x axis Right now, in that process, this is going to go forward, and after a certain point in time, it will reach here and it is going to fall over. Okay, so we need to find the amount of time taken by block A to just fall over. Okay, or when this 1.5 distance will become automatically zero, that is something that we have to work out. All right, but for all that to happen, we first need to figure out what the acceleration is going to be, and for that, we need to make the free body diagrams of both these blocks. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, as far as this block is concerned, it has a mass of 30 kgs. So obviously the weight is going to act in the downward direction. That's 30 G. And when you multiply 30 with G, that is 9.81, um, you're going to get this. Um, this is going to be 294.3. 294.3 Newtons. Now there is going to be a normal reaction offered from this horizontal surface onto this block A. So this is Na and since this is moving in the right hand side direction, okay, so there is going to be a frictional force also somewhere along this direction. Let's say on block A, it's Fa and you know very well that Fa is a product of mu N. So mu A N A. So essentially, if I were to make the motion analysis for block B, block A in fact it's going to be like this block A and since there is no motion along the y axis we'll have this summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to 0 so we have this Na positive and this 294.3 weight of the block in the downward direction as negative so let me write this Na minus 294.3 and it should be equal to 0 and Na works out as 2 294.3 newtons so we have this na 294.3 over here and we have this mu a over here 0.6 so you just do this calculation and fa should probably work out as let me see how much it is it is 17.65 17.65 newtons so let me write over here frictional force offered from the surface onto this block is um 17.65 newtons in the opposite direction of the motion all right done and dusted now let us go ahead and let's apply this summation of all the forces in x direction product of mass and acceleration flop block a we are going to use this subscript this is x direction okay this is the direction of motion and can you observe which force is along the direction of motion it's this tension t right so this will be taken as positive and this over here frictional force will be taken in the negative sense so we have t minus 17.65 let me write this t minus 17.65 is equal to product of mass and acceleration block a mass is 30 30 times of a and let's just say this is our equation number one block a motion analysis is over now let's focus our attention on to block B okay first of all let me work out all the forces acting on block B so we have this weight of the block acting in the downward direction mass is 3 so the weight is going to be 3 G and when you do this calculation 3 times of um, 9.81 it's going to work out as 29.43 to be very precise Newtons okay so where is the motion happening in this direction who is dominating 29.43 that is the weight of block p is dominating take this as positive and take this as negative all right so let's go ahead and do this summation of all the forces 
in x direction for x it's y this way is a product of mass and acceleration for block p block p so here we go 29.43 in the direction of motion 29.43 minus tension t equals equals what mass into acceleration mb that's 3 times of ab ab is nothing but acceleration a only because both the accelerations are same okay so ab is equal to aa is equal to a that's it so you have this as your equation number two you can clearly see in equation 1 this t is positive in equation 2 this t is negative so you can add both these equations and t will cancel out automatically the entire equation will be in terms of a and you can calculate the value of a it's going to be very simple equation 1 plus equation 2 let me write this t minus 17.65 plus 29.43 minus t is equal to what 30a plus 3a and this is going to be how much 33a you just need to solve this equation and you are going to get the value of acceleration equal to zero point three five seven well, meters per second square obviously anyway so this portion is over we know with what acceleration this block is moving in the right hand side direction and that's this zero point three five seven now we need to find the time taken by this block a to reach here okay that's exactly the time when it's going to fall over like this all right so we have this s equals ut plus half a t square so initially everything was at rest that means this initial velocity will be taken as zero okay so let me write this s is the distance traveled how much it's 1.5 so let me write it over here 1.5 is equal to this is going to be 0 0 into t is 0 plus half of a that's 0 0.357 times of t square so this is pretty simple 1.5 times of 2 divided by 0 0.357 whatever the um, product is it has to be square root since this is t square and the final value for t obtained is going to be equal to let me check how much it is this is 2.9 seconds so this block over here is traveling in the right hand side direction with an acceleration of 0 0.357 meters per second square and after and after 2.9 seconds this is going to fall over that's it done and dusted well, so guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics, then do share and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a notification, you get an update, okay? And do tell your friends about this channel so that they can also benefit. Anyways, I'm gonna be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day. Keep learning.